And wearing a face covering in public places has become required in Michigan, and many people are using homemade items. Now, a recently published article is raising the possibility of an alternative. Let's bring in Dr. Frank McGeorge here to explain. A more sustainable and socially friendly option might be face shields. Now, the one I'm wearing that I use in the hospital is a bit more heavy duty than the one people might use in public. But the real question is whether it provides enough protection. And the answer is probably. Face masks do provide protection against the spread of infection, but besides the supply issues, there are people who cannot tolerate wearing a mask. Face shields have advantages over masks. They're more durable. They can be washed easily. They're more comfortable for most people. They help keep you from touching your face, and they make talking and communication by facial expressions easier. Face shields can be produced easily by do-it-yourselfers and large manufacturers on retooled assembly lines in a large volume. Most importantly, though, there is evidence they are protective. One study found in a simulated situation, face shields reduced viral exposure by 96% within 18 inches of a cough, and at a distance of 6 feet, the amount of fine aerosol inhaled was reduced by 92%. Now, this new JAMA article did point out that while face shields provide protection for the wearer, there hasn't been enough study of how well they could contain virus if the wearer coughs or sneezes. Still, this may be another good option for health officials to consider going forward. Back to you.